Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Heat Shy One Hour Rapid Mousse in medium to dark. Shout out to my beautiful subscriber, Fiona, for recommending this one to me. Thank you so much. I'm so, so excited to be trying it out. So that's what today is going to be all about. We are going to read up on the details. We're gonna try it on, see what it does, and then I will let you know if I think it's worth your money. So before we get into it, please give this a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel, you guys, if you haven't already. It just really helps me out. You get three videos a week, so don't miss out. But if you wanna see me review this self-tanner, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Alrighty, guys, like I said, this is the Heat Shy exceptional tan one hour rapid mousse in medium to dark and also i hope i'm pronouncing that right it's he dash shi this is a brand new brand to me so i'm not a hundred percent sure in the pronunciation so i apologize but i'm very very excited about this one i absolutely love it when you guys give me recommendations on what you want me to review because it honestly helps me out i feel like i've tried out so many self tanners at this point so it's nice to hear from you guys like what you want me to do so thank you so much again fiona i appreciate it i'm so excited to try it out but i have it pulled up on the website it is well on the he shy website um it says beauty bible awards 2021 so sounds like it's very good it says rapid one hour mousse 150 milliliters which is how much 5.07 fluid ounces so it's a little bit less than the standard i think the standard is like 6.7 ounces so this is a little bit less it goes for 27 pounds i don't know that conversion into us dollars so i I'll try to find it online and I'll link it in the description box for you guys so you know what the difference is. And then again, the color is medium to dark. Speaking my language, you know I love my dark tans. So the description says, need a tan in a hurry? Introducing a luxurious mousse version of the best-selling rapid one hour express, or sorry, rapid one hour liquid tan. This luxurious tanning foam is alcohol free and formulated with enriching avocado and argan oil, which will keep your skin hydrated, which is actually amazing because argan oil is really, really good for your skin, I've heard, so I love that. It says, with the rapid one hour mousse, you have the freedom to control the depth of your color shade, superior tanning results, dial up the color and control the intensity of your tan from a dark or a medium tan. The color depth technology enhances the delivery of the natural active tanning agent. I cannot read today, you guys, I'm sorry. Meaning it can be washed off after one hour to reveal a golden glow. Leave on the skin for two to three hours for a medium to dark and four plus hours for an ultra dark tan. I think you can guess already what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it on for four plus hours. We're leaving it on overnight because you know I love my ultra dark tans and I want this to give me an ultra dark tan. So that is what we're doing. It says, gives you the freedom to choose your tan shade, fully absorbed rapidly and quick drying, formulated with loving ingredients for superior hydration and a tan that fades just like a natural tan. Love that. Prolonged tanning results, color lasts up to seven to 10 days. Odor neutralizing signature scent, no fake tan smell. I hope that's true. And then it says proud to be vegan and cruelty free, safe for pregnant women, free from parabens, alcohol, and other harsh chemicals. So that sounds really, really nice. And then for the how to use it, like you would literally just put it on like a regular old self tanner and then leave it on as long as you want for the amount of darkness that you want. So like I said, we're leaving this on overnight. First thing that I noticed about this that I do want to point out, when I took it out of the box, when it came in the mail, I'm sure you can see this, but I think like the color from the inside bled because there's like stains on here. So that was like the first thing I noticed and I was like, no, oh my God, I really hope this is not messy. So we will see what happens with that. Let me see if the box says anything different. It pretty much says the exact same things 
that we just read, so I'm not going to repeat to you guys. But let's open this up and see what the inside looks like. Please don't be, oh, that's why, okay. The cap like came off. Sorry, I'm like trying to do this in a way where it's not gonna stain my hands because it did kind of stain the back of this. But this is a really, really pretty packaging. Like I really like this. It's like a dark purple, which honestly, I'm hoping that it means that this is like a magenta kind of violet undertone because I love those kinds of tans so I'm hoping that's what this means but I absolutely love this it's unique as well I feel like I don't have any other self tanners that look quite like this so I really do like that but I do think that they could definitely work on the cap staying on a little sturdier because that definitely did make a mess I'm just hoping it doesn't like stain my hands as I'm putting this on plus side though it came with a mitt so I'm gonna be trying out a new mitt. It's not double-sided. I usually like the double-sided ones because I don't know why, it's just easier. But we're gonna see what this does for us. Okay, so right off the bat, I don't love how the mat, mat, <laughs> mitt feels. I don't love how it feels because it's just one of those like kind of cheap material like styrofoam things. Like I love mats like, why do I keep saying mats? Mates that are like this kind of material. I don't know how to explain what it is, but it's like a soft, like fuzzy kind of thing. This just feels like styrofoam and then the back is like see-through, but who knows? Maybe it'll end up being amazing. So we can get started on applying. I'm very anxious and excited to see what this looks like. So as usual, I already have a self tanner on my face. I'm wearing the Coco and Eve um, Micro Mist one on my face. And I'm just gonna apply this like from my neck down as usual. So we can get started on applying and then we'll talk initial details and thoughts afterwards. So let's go. Okay guys, I just finished applying and the first thing that I noticed was I feel like the packaging itself is a little bit like, I feel like it could have been a little bit better done because even when I was like pressing on the pump to get the product out, I feel like I was like having a hard time pressing down on it completely and it felt like the product was a little bit waterier than most like self tan mousses are coming out not saying that that's totally a bad thing because i did like the consistency of this when it was going on so i would not say that that's a bad thing it was just like hard to get pumped out and the consistency was a little bit waterier so just keep that in mind the mitt is a no for me like i had to stop applying with the mitt like after putting it on <laughs> this part of my body because I felt like it was like kind of slipping in and out of my hand and it was like kind of hard to blend the product with this mitt so I went back to like my regular Tanceuticals mitt that I like love and it applied so much better with that one so I would say if you're gonna use a mitt use one that's like that fuzzy kind of material not this like styrofoam so I love, love, love how it applied when I switched back to like my regular kind of mitt. It was like so nice and easy to blend into my skin though, you guys. Like it literally felt like I was just putting on like moisturizer on my skin. Like it felt so nice and luxurious going on. Like it really felt really good going on. And I will say it's pretty quick drying. Like I did this arm first and then I did this one after and it doesn't feel sticky at all. Like I feel like I had more than enough time to like work it into my skin and blend everything and make sure I didn't miss any spots while still drying very quickly and not feeling like a sticky mess on me. So I really, really like that. And can we just talk about the color that this is giving me already? I do have a feeling that this is gonna be like a violet undertone kind of self tanner. It is beautiful, you guys. Like this is giving me a very like natural dark just came back from like 
a European beach vacation kind of thing already and I love it and I always say I feel like when a self tanner looks this dark just from the color guard like you know it's gonna be dark the next day when you wash it off too and I have a feeling that that's what this is gonna be I'm hoping but right now I am loving the color and just like the depth that it's giving me right now so I am overall super super happy with it I do think there are a couple little things like I had mentioned that could have been done better but just like the look of this and how it's like wearing and how I feel in it right now super super happy so I'm very excited I'm gonna go sleep on this though I'm gonna let it like marinate overnight and then tomorrow once I wash it off I'm gonna come back show you guys the final result and let you know if I think it's worth your money so I will see you guys tomorrow I'm back it is the next day and as you can see I have a huge smile on my face so that is good news I'm super excited about this one you guys I love it first thing I want to mention from last night that I totally forgot and I don't know how is I forgot to talk about the smell it smells so good it's like fruity perfumey kind of smell but in the best way and I called my fiance upstairs after I turned off the camera to help me put self tanner on my back and that was the first thing he said when he walked in the room he was like mmm this one smells good so that made me super super excited like I feel like this is one of those where it looks very natural when you initially put it on like the color guard and it smells really good so if you had to go like out and run errands or like go somewhere after applying self tanner you totally could get away with it not looking like self tanner like that you just put on because it looks and smells and feels so good and natural like I really 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 loved that about it also the other thing I want to point out no streakiness no patchiness whatsoever it went on my skin so beautifully so smooth and it came out that way this morning as well like as soon as I woke up this morning I like looked at my arms, looked at my legs, looked at everything, and I was like, yes, this looks so good. One thing I will say though, I would not say it's like super, super dark by any means. Like I definitely feel like it's true to like the medium to dark uh, thing that it says. Like it definitely is a medium to dark to me. Like it's like between a medium and a dark almost. So what it tells you is what you can expect. But I honestly love it. Like, I feel like it doesn't even need to be ultra dark. Like, it looks stunning. My hands look so natural. Just my tan overall looks like I was on vacation somewhere and I came back and I look tan and awesome. So, I honestly really just enjoy everything about this. The only thing that I don't love are the things that I mentioned last night. The little things that can be, like, worked on. A little bit like for example the packaging definitely could be worked on that might have just been like the way that it was like shipped to me though so who knows but it definitely is a little messy since it like bled onto the bottle other than that though I'm obsessed I love it I definitely recommend thank you again so much Fiona for the amazing recommendation because I will definitely continue using this a ton. I really, really enjoy it and I highly recommend. So that is all. That's all I've got for you guys today. So comment and let me know what you guys think about how this turned out on me. Let me know what other self tanners you guys want me to do. And then give this a thumbs up. Subscribe, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.